Hey, what's your name? My name's Dan Waldron, and I'm from San Angelo, Texas. Should right. I look at the camera or look at you? you look at the camera. That's great. That, you're smart. I should I should stand behind the camera. Good idea. Good idea. Do you ride often? My wife and I ride uh, three or four times a week. That's what we do. Maybe we get uh, between 300 and 400 miles in in a month. That's great. You do a lot of the weekly, uh, like uh, Saturday uh, events around the Texas. We try and do two or three a year. Yeah. And we've got some of our favorites that we go to, and because of the crowd and the atmosphere, this is one of them. So we try and get up here. Yeah. Yeah, I like this also. How far did you ride today? We did the whole ride. The whole thing, 100 miles. Wow, that's great. That's great. And just a little over five hours. Yeah, that's the best we've done. We uh, we learn more about eating and drinking right. We're feeling better at the end here than we have in other years. Well, I haven't figured that out, eating and drinking right. But uh, that's that's pretty fast. That's about 20 miles an hour, isn't it? Pretty our, close. Our on the bike speed was 19.4. 19.4. When you subtract the times that we stopped at the rest stop. Wow, that is terrific. I, I've never been that fast. I've never ridden one of these things, but you like you obviously like the tandem. Yeah, my wife and I have ridden tandem for well, about 18 years ago. We started doing this, and we we, uh, we had a bike for many years, and we just got this one last year. It was an upgrade. We really enjoy the difference that it makes. Yeah. We enjoy the tandeming because it's something that we're doing together, and if we're working on something together, I think that helps us have a stronger marriage. I agree. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Somebody's got to be the leader. There's no question about it here. That's right. <laughs> well, that's great. That's great. Do um, you use a heart monitor? You... No, we don't. We are. Uh, we enjoy riding with others, but uh, we don't do competitions, so we're not that serious about it to wear a heart monitor. After... Uh, my wife and I have probably ridden, in those 18 years, probably uh, close to 30,000 miles together. And we've learned to feel how hard the other one is working. When you can feel it through the timing chain, that I can tell when she's feeling well and when she's not, and vice versa. She can tell when I'm working hard and when I'm not. So we, we've learned that about each other over the 18 years. Wow, I had no idea you could do that. That you could really sense how the other person was doing. Very, very much so. And you, you, all the all the tandem teams with a lot of experience, they they don't need to talk to each other very much because they can feel it. Huh. So do you ride with a lot of other people with tandems? Do you like riding with people with tandems? Is that we, we enjoy it, and that's one of the reasons we like coming up here because there's several hundred tandems at the start of this ride. Back in San Angelo, we have uh, one uh, couple uh, friends of ours that we ride tandem with some, but all the rest of the cyclists in our town are riding single bikes. Yeah. So you you are obviously a lot faster than most of the single bikes. Uh, we're, we're in the top half, at least. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's terrific. That's terrific. Well, what else should I ask you? Uh, or what else would you like to say? What's different what, about what? riding a tandem versus riding single? Yes, absolutely. The, uh, on a tandem, you have to think ahead farther because it takes you longer to get accelerated up to a certain speed. And uh, you, you need to be thinking ahead because your reaction time counts. Because of but if you're riding with a bunch of single bikes and they slow down, our greater inertia, because there's more weight, uh, we slow down, but not as fast as they do. Yeah. So if they slow down and I'm not paying attention, we can run into the back of those bikes. Do you have a disc brake on there? Yes, we do. We have a disc brake on there. That uh, This is the first bike I've had with a disc, and I've really got a lot of confidence in that disc. Uh, we have never had any trouble slowing down. Even when we're coming down hills at greater than 30 miles an hour, I've got confidence in that brake. It uh, slows us down or stops us, and it, it's got good control in the lever that I can control how much stopping power we're applying. Well, what the the purpose for the, behind my website is to introduce bicycling to people who are 
who are not kids, who, may, who are middle-aged baby boomers, who may not have ridden since they were kids, and they don't realize that they can do it. That they, 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 they say, I could never ride 20 miles, I could never ride 30 miles, so how, do you, how would you address that? Uh, that uh, if it's something they're interested in, getting decent equipment and having a common goal, and that's what helps a lot for the successful tandem couples, they have a common goal. Some people can't understand why we enjoy riding tandem, but it's because they don't have someone that they have a common goal with. Mm -hmm. For my wife and I, our goals are uh, staying fit, spending time together, spending time with other cyclists that we like. Because of all those goals, we've got something that keeps us motivated and uh, keeps us going at it. We, uh, we did this 100 miles today, but we prepared for this mostly over the past six months, but somewhat over the last 18 years as well. You, you, need, you need to start slow, but if you've got a common goal and unity of purpose, the, a tandem bike is great for a marriage and great for fitness. That, that's absolutely wonderful. I never heard it put that way, but it is. It's if you can get along on a tandem bike, bike you can you can get along pretty well. That's right. That's right. That's right. And I was hoping my wife would come here and share well, this interview. I, I I was too. Why don't you go grab her? I'll hold the bike. Well, yeah. No, I told him. Oh, he's been bragging about you. I told him you were supposed to bring me a drink of water. Oh, well, you want me to go get you one? See how cold this is. He's been bragging about you and telling me how wonderful riding a tandem is for your marriage. It is. It is great. And that you've been riding for 18 years. Okay, i got to ask you to get a little bit closer. Okay. Okay, okay, there, okay we there we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. So what was your name? Leanne. Leanne. Okay, great. Well, he's been saying wonderful things about you and your new bike and uh, how it uh, brings uh, helps a couple uh, uh, achieve common goals and share common goals and we've and been enjoying together. it that's right why, why do you like the tandem rather than single bikes? because i can ride with you <laughs> look, look at the camera oh. what a great reason uh, yeah he would drop me well not he would stick with me but i would be dying and he would not be dying so we got the tandem so I could, we could ride together. You even own single bikes? Yes, we do. You own, do? Yes. Last year I rode the most on a single bike ever in one season because our teenage daughters finished the ride. We have a triplet bike as well. Oh, wow. And so Dan and our two oldest girls did the 100 miles last year. That's the interesting thing about biking people. They One bike's not enough. I've got three myself. Friends come over. Well, the, the girls' and friends, our teenage daughters, their friends will come over and say, it looks like it's Walmart, although that's a little bit of an insult because we hope that our bikes are a little bit, a little, a little bit better than Walmart bikes. Yeah. Yes, I agree. <laughs> but I agree. they're hanging from the racks all over the garage. That's something I tell people on my website is if you're, gonna, if you're new to this and you're going to go buy a bike, don't go to a discount store to buy it. Go to a... Go to a real good shop that can fit you, that has a, a pe people that's, there who that's are... That's good advice, and it's even more uh, true with Tandem, that uh, there are several uh, shops that specialize in Tandems and have Tandem riders that work there that know some of the things that are differences. So I think that's also very valuable for newcomers that are interested in Tandem specifically to go to a shop that deals in those rather than just go to your regular bike shop that might be able to order a tandem for you. Right, right. Now, how do you how do you travel with it? Does it fit in your car? Or? It, it is. We measured before we bought our minivan. Uh -huh. And it fits in our minivan. Okay. So, so and our triplet even fits in the van. That's one of the things I've, you know, they're, they're, they're pretty cumbersome. They're long. Yes. They take a lot of room. Yep. Uh, but you, you plan ahead for that. That's just right. like stopping. That's right. And we sure enjoy it. Yeah. So you don't have to do any shifting or anything. You're That's just, right. You, hey, you're I just the power you person. Pedal. It's awesome. 
That's right. That's great. Although last year I did do 67 miles on a on a ride that we did up in um, Minnesota. Okay. And that that was my personal personal goal. That's the that's the furthest I've ever done on a single bike. I think it's that. Minnesota, I bet that was a beautiful place to ride. It was very nice. It was an enjoyable ride for the summertime. I went up to Wisconsin one time in the Dells, and they've got areas where they've taken the railroad tracks out, and they're, they're, the, the beds are still there, the tunnels are there, and the, the trestles, the bridges, and everything. It's really a lot of fun. And they have some of that in, uh, in downtown Minneapolis as well. Oh, do they? Great. Okay, well, I guess I'll let you go get some water now. All right, well, that was great. With you. Yeah.